Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu Alaikum, my dear students. How are you? I hope you are enjoying the best of health. I welcome you in my class that is English for Grade Three. We are learning Unit Nine. Its title is Good Behavior. My dear fellow teachers, this lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation, and worksheet links are given. You may click it, download it, follow it as it is, or modify it for your convenience. I am going to deliver my lecture according to this lesson plan. Yes, my dear children. Today, under the title of pronunciation skills, we are going to learn how to demarcate words for syllables. Before this, I have already taught you how to identify syllables in words. I hope you remember. If not, you may watch this video lecture again because we are going to learn further to recognize, demarcate, and pronounce three and four syllable words. This is our today's SLO. Let's start with the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah mentions in Quran, Surah Al-Baqarah, verse 78, and among them are unlettered ones who do not know the scripture except indulgent in wishful thinking, but they are only assuming yes my dear children but this beautiful verse is telling us beta this verse is telling us when you don't have knowledge then you use your own thinking your own assumptions that's why to gain knowledge is a must we should learn the things we should know the things now look at these words i have given them different color because when we say these color these words they have different syllables, right? So how do we find out syllable of words and how do we demarcate a word for syllables? We are going to learn. So first you tell me what are syllables and how do you demarcate syllables of a word? Pause the video, answer this question to your teacher and then come back. Yes, my dear students, we have already studied about syllables, so I hope you could answer correctly that in a word or in a part of a word, a wall sound is called one syllable. Remember, I taught you a wall sound, not a wall, a wall sound, because sometimes two walls may give one sound, in, as in these words, rain, book, B, though we find two walls, but they have one sound and we, we have studied about different, uh, uh, you know, way why this, these two are giving one sound, two walls, when they give one sound, how to pronounce long wall sounds, what are digraphs, remember, what are diphthongs. So, when two walls give one wa wall sound, even then it becomes one syllable, right? And how do we demarcate? them how do we make syllable of a word we take an example of this word basic how many syllables how many walls you can find here there are two so how do we make syllables first we split it for its walls all right and because it is separated with the consonant so consonant will remain there okay and how do we pronounce it now there are two walls and we have separated it where we attach this consonant that wall will give its short sound and the other wall will give its long sound this is how because we have attached this s with i so it's this wall is going to give its short wall sound and this is open wall that's why it will give its long sound and what is the long sound of this wall it's a that's why we say big and what is the short sound of I? I? That's why we say sick. So what we, how do we pronounce it? Basic. And how do we find the walls? Basic. Basic, right? Remember, I have taught you this technique. And this is how we pronounce. And this is how we demarcate this word for its syllables, right? And we have further practiced few words. I'm giving you another tip of making syllables of a word. When you pronounce this word, place your hand under your chin and say this, September, 
September. September. The, how many times you feel the movement of your chin is basically it's telling you how many syllables this word have. Okay. So say September. How many times? Three times. That's why it has three syllables. Now say this word. Watermelon. 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 How many times your chin is moving? Four times. That's why it has four syllables. All right. So this is how by looking at the word, by separating the wall sounds, we can make the syllables. And by pronouncing the word, we can find out how many syllables this word has. Watermelon. How many syllables? Four. September. How many syllables? Three, right? This is how we find out. Now, let's see what does your book say about it. All of you open your book on page number 74. It's pronunciation skills. And a syllable in a word or a part of a word that has a single wall sound, okay? A single wall sound is a syllable. It is pronounced as a unit. For example, book has one syllable and reading, reading has two syllables. A single syllable can be a single word. For example, all these words, they have one syllable because they have one wall sound. And how do we find out syllables? Now say all these words, watch, worn, face, cap, purse, bus, tire, train. So your chin is moving one time. That's why all these words are one syllable word, right? Okay. So what are two syllable words? Those words which have two wall sounds are two syllable words. How do we say it? Doctor. Say it. Doctor. Two times. So two syllables. Table. Singing. Football. Flower. Right? So better this is how we find out and we demark the word for its syllables. The next is three syllable words. Now we know the words which have three wall sounds and when we pronounce we feel three times the movement of our chin that is three syllable word for example Pakistan all right butterfly now keep saying and keep finding how many syllable this word have put baller polishing beautiful so, all these are example of three syllable words. And the next is four syllable word. Once again, four syllable word will be having four wall sounds and will be pronounced, how do we? Information. Information. So, there are four syllable for this word. Entertainment. Application. Right. So this is how we demark words for their syllables and we find out how many syllables this word is having. Are you clear with the concept? Okay, so let's practice it through an interesting activity. What we are going to do? Students will write down all the words they can think of that have three or four syllables. Okay, you will think and you will write, make a list of all these words. Now, teacher will find out and will remove the duplicates and give them some examples and ask for more. Then create a wall with all these suggestions. Now, the words which are left with you, you can make a, make a syllable wall for them like this. Okay. So, pause the video, enjoy the activity, and then come back. Yes, my dear children, are you done with it? Good job. Now, let's practice it from your book. All of you complete this question number four. What we are going to do? You will pick three syllable and four syllable word, draw a column in your notebook, and write the words in your relevant column. So, for Three syllable, you will make two columns, one for three syllable, four syllable, and write them in the relevant column. So pause the video, complete this question in your notebooks, and then come back. Yes, my dear children, are you done with it? Good job. Now I'm giving you homework. 
you will write more three and four syllable words this is your homework and here is a worksheet my dear fellow teachers this worksheet lesson plan powerpoint presentation links are given you may click it download it and kindly provide a printed worksheet to students for practice and my dear children what you are going to do here are words and you have to write their syllables and their number of syllables this is how you will complete this worksheet so what we have learned today we learned how to spell three or four syllable words and we learn to demarcate three or four syllable words with accuracy in pronunciation so we achieved our slo to recognize demarcate and pronounce three and four syllable words are we done with it yes so that's it for today tomorrow i'll come again with a very interesting lesson till that time keep learning keep practicing and take very good care of yourself Thank you and Allah Hafiz.